Hi guys, Liam here from RDS. Today we're going to be upgrading uh, the standard hard drive in a 13 inch MacBook Pro late 2011 to a uh, 128 gig solid state drive by Samsung. So first I'm going to show you the drive. Here it is, Samsung 830 model. It's 128 gigs and it has a theoretical read speed of 430 megs I believe and a theoretical write of 340. So putting that to one side, we're going to uh, require three tools, or two tools for this installation. One, a Phillips screwdriver. The head will have to be quite small. The second, a Torx T6 screwdriver. And thirdly, this is not essential, but a nylon pry tool. You may want a little container to put all the screws in and uh, save you losing any. Right, I've already removed all the screws from the uh, aluminium body, but there are 10 screws altogether. These three here are significantly longer. These are about this size, and the others are approximately uh, a quarter and maybe a fifth of the size of that. So, remove all the screws, and then what we're going to do is take off the back cover. Place that carefully to one side, and I'll just take you through a tour. So, in here, we, uh, this is the CD ROM drive, hard drive, battery, RAM, fan, and the general motherboard and logic. So, what we need to do is disconnect our hard drive and replace it with our solid state drive. So, we're now going to need our Phillips screwdriver, and we're going to want to remove this mounting bracket here. And to do this, we're just going to undo the two screws so that the mounting bracket comes off. Shouldn't require too much force. And there we go. There's the mounting bracket. Place that carefully to one side because you'll need that again when we put the SSD back. And then we're going to pull using the pull tab here. Lift the hard drive out, be careful not to pull the SATA cable, and then pull this SATA connection here out. There we are. So, that's my 500 gig hard drive. And I'm now going to remove this plastic uh, tab here and put it straight onto my SSD. This will allow me to lift it out in the future if I have to. So, I'm just going to put that on the side. Actually, I'll put it on the bottom, and there we are. Right, put that to one side, and now we're going to take our pre installed hard drive and remove the Torx uh, mounting brackets, which are these little screws here. There are four of them here. So now I shall get my Torx T6 screwdriver here and remove them one by one. So I'm just going to do this quick. Right, the mounting screws have been taken out of the holes there. And I'm now going to insert the four mounting screws we just took out of our normal hard drive into the um, mounting screws of the SSD or um, other hard drive. So I'm going to do that now. I've done that. So as you can see, I've got the four mounting screws in my SSD. And now we're going to go back to the Mac. Right. I'm going to insert, insert the SATA connector into the SATA port. Like so. Make sure it's in nice and tight. And then slot these back into the mounting brackets, these uh, mounting screws here. Make sure your SATA connector is in fully, otherwise, it won't go in. Push down into the uh, slots. 
then we need to use our Phillips screwdriver again to secure the SSD in place. No need to tighten them up too hard. Okay guys, that's it. Um, we're now done for the SSD install. All we need to do now is put the cover back on do all the 10 screws, put them back in, tighten them up and run the line recovery system um, I'd just like to remind you that these three screws, screws sorry, are uh, significantly longer than the others so don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching, don't forget to visit idevelopstream.com bye for now